Okay, so now we're here to talk about marketing trends and, and you know, marketing trends is a fairly important uh, subject that, that's you know, pretty key to, to making business decisions. Um, so Matt, tell us a little bit about what we're we gonna be studying during our marketing trends. Okay, so as Nick just pointed out, making decisions in your business, pretty much essential. You're making lots every day mm -hmm. and the data that you're using to make your decisions is actually really important. So marketing trends is really about understanding what key information can I get to understand what's changing the market? What has changed the market? So looking back in time, looking forward in time, making some forecasts, looking at what's changing with my customers, my competitors, people's preferences, technology, politics, legislation, the lot. It's really about refining your research skills so you have the skills to be able to maintain the information and make the best data-driven decisions in your business. Right, okay, that, that sounds uh, pretty comprehensive. What sort of tools or techniques or procedures could we use to do that? Okay, so some of the, the processes that you're gonna go through and those tools that you're gonna go through, in the context setting, it's really about breaking it down and going, how big is the market? Mm -hmm. So I'm profiling the market, I'm really looking at how big's the piece of pie? How big is the pie? So looking at what type of indicators I'm gonna use for that. It might be currency, it might be weight, because I'm talking about tonnage of imports coming in, it might be about sales that have gone through, it might be about people in the market. So it's really about getting some quantitative data to understand how big the pie is and who is in that pie. Okay. Um, all right, so with that, if, if that's my first task, when I move into the first assignment task, how is that gonna look? Okay, so again, we're looking at a blog post. For Dina Blog, you're really just refining your understanding of all this information so that you can put together a short, snappy, straight to the point blog post talking to a specific type of audience, investor, customer, bank manager, business partner, the decision is yours but you've got to talk to someone. So we're looking for someone to really put together a blog post that talks about how big it is, what is the information that's helping me to understand how big that is, who you're communicating that to. Making okay. that so making sure they're getting the right measures and, and the sort of the right information there. Short, snappy blog gets to the point. Okay, so once they've done that initial blog, what's the next activity they're probably gonna move on to? Yeah, so in C2, the critical component, it is actually more getting critical over the pie. So if the pie is this big, this is what makes it up. This is the ingredients in the pie. What's influencing that? So over the past five years, you're really gonna be going back, trying to find some information and data, generally quantitative at the start, of a trend that's really driving the industry. That might be from the social side, the technological side, the economical side, the environmental side, political, legal, they're always changing. The marketplace is always dynamic, it's never static. So from that, you're really looking at, okay, I've got this trend, I've seen what's happened over the past five years, and I'm looking to understand what's influencing it, what's driving it up and down, what's rate of growth, what's changing that? Is it the economic, is it the social, technological, environmental, political, cultural? Lots of different factors. So the situational analysis is really important. Okay, so the situational analysis is obviously what they're gonna be doing there. Um, how is that gonna be presented? How, or how are people gonna convey that? So again, with your critical component, what we're looking for is that vlog post. So you're recording a video of yourself. We're looking for 90 seconds. So you're talking about the key things that you've identified from the situational analysis, what are some opportunities for you? Who's the audience you're talking to? 90 seconds embedded in your Fadina blog and then obviously putting it up on Google Classroom. Okay, so short, sharp and to the point. Fantastic, okay, so once they've done that situational analysis and they put that vlog up there and we know what's going on, what's the next step in the process? Okay, so the control component, again, really important. It's where you've made some decisions, you've got a good picture about how big the pie is, what's influencing the pie and who's eating that pie. Now it's thinking about where's that pie going? So 
that's the process where you're actually looking 24 months into the future, you're looking at a key trend, and you're taking it forward and getting a good understanding of where the industry's going, where my market's going, what's going to take place in the next 24 months to my customers' preferences. Okay, so a bit of a future weather forecast. Is it going to be bright and sunny or is it going to be rain? That's okay. correct. Is the pie going to be tasty or is it going to be a little bit sour? Or have we overcooked it? Okay, awesome. So how is that going to be then presented? Okay, so one of the important things there, the C3, monitoring the data. So any forecasting that I'm doing and the decisions and plans I'm putting in place is really about if I'm making data-driven decisions in my business, the decisions are only as good as my data. So how do I keep track of that data? If I'm getting information from an industry group, a magazine, a government website, how do I keep track of that? Who's actually gonna be following up on that? What systems do I use? I'm refining that in terms of the evidence and the assessment. And I'm turning that into a short, snappy, straightforward blog post, mm -hmm. like you did in part one. Audience, pretty much the same. Follow through that audience, You're refining your communication style. Put it on your Fedina blog. So who, what, where, when, why, and how. Okay, fantastic. Once all that's been done, we've got a pretty good comprehensive uh, you know, picture of what's happened and where we're going and what we think the future holds. What's gonna be the last step in the process? Again, the communication. C4, always really important. It is the icing on the cake. You can have all the best ideas. You can have done the best research, but if you really don't have the ability to communicate it to your employees, to your customers, to an investor, to a business partner, to maybe a bank manager, you're not really gonna get anywhere. So you're tying all this stuff together, you're refining it into some five minute, maybe three minutes, three to five minutes, some type of presentation, yep. using some media platform that allows you to embed it in your Fedina blog. Okay, so in summary, we, we've had a look at what's going on, we've thought about the size of our pie, we've thought about you know, how many people are buying pies, uh, we've thought about what the future for pies might hold, and we've made sure that we've communicated to, to an audience that we've chosen. So if we do that, we should be able to make some pretty good business decisions. We'll make sure that we're not uh, you know, flying blind, and, and hopefully we make sure we monitor those marketing trends and make good calls. Thank you very much.